The year 2019 recorded a high rate of emergency and disaster cases in most cities across the country, particularly Lagos, which witnessed over 900 cases. But mortality is usually associated with such major disasters, according to experts, were low when compared with the previous year. Those who spoke to AIT while assessing the performance of the environment sector lay blame on carelessness of residents in some cases and lack of proper planning on the part of government. They, however, expressed hope of a better 2020 with increased sensitization of the public and environmentally friendly policies by the government. Yeah, like cars have been burnt. Cars have been burnt. Like Afro Gas and pipeline explosions, market fire disasters, tanker accidents, building collapses, as well as flooding. These were some major environmental disasters witnessed in major cities in the country in 2019. The second time now. Lagos was one of such cities badly affected, as over 900 emergencies and disaster cases were recorded between January and November. Each of these incidents left several people dead. Many sustained varying degrees of burns and injuries, property worth millions of naira destroyed. 90% of these disasters, according to environment watchers, was due to carelessness on the part of the people and poor planning on the part of government. People are careless. You will have a gas not properly stored. They will be using GSM around the, 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 the gas leaders. They won't check whether the gas leaders are well properly caught. They won't they would ensure that they have fire extinguishers in their shops. All the environmental hazards that were seen this year were um, a lack of preparation of last year. Despite the high rate of these emergencies, the level of associated mortalities was quite low as emergency responders all worked as a singular body. The beauty thing that the citizens are really enjoying is that um, all the key stakeholders are working better together. But it wasn't all bad news for the environment sector as waste collection in cities like Lagos got a boost, though the objective of turning waste to wealth remains a mirage. So you can see a progress, a progressive um, change being made from what was, what was hard um, October 2008, 2018 to what we have now. You saw how the environment was terribly bastardized. No improvement on the issue of landfill sites. No, it was so bad. But in the last one year now, it's getting better compared to Visionscape's era. We still have a lot to still do to make sure that we restore the sanity of this environment. Since the return of the PSP operators, all these backlogs of waste had been seemingly removed. Experts want government to give priority attention to the poor state of roads and encourage private sector involvement for better results in 2020. The, the people of Lagos State would have appreciated if all the port roads on all the roads are closed. In the new year, the government you put all effort to see that private institutions and private enterprises are really backed up financially to be able to turn waste to wealth in Nigeria. They are also advocating increased sensitization of the public to engender needed attitudinal change towards the environment and for government to formulate policies that would ensure the safety of lives and property of all citizens. Nkoli Omodu, AIT News, Lagos.